I figure maybe it's a good way to start the trip to Buffalo. I'm, I'm dining at restaurant du Bonnet. I just arrived at this restaurant called Restaurant du Bonnet. They're on Michelin. Recommend you can do a la carte with tasting menu. I see that they have two types of tasting menu. Five courses is 95. There is another one, it's 140. It's gonna stick to the 95. See that? It's a huge menu. It's too big. This is the 95. Let's see how it goes. Overall, really, really like the food in Croatia. Very fresh seafood. I cook it to the best one. It's just fresh and nice. So this is the chef. <laughs> specialty about this restaurant. Some specialty is this one. The page. This page is a la carte meal and this is our tasting so menu. What the yeah, Mediterranean cuisine and this is our chef top menu. Okay. It's five small courses. It's smoke killed and mussel mm. and then we got crispy ravioli. Then for third course it's octopus. Yes. And then for main dish is our lamb fillet. Ah, oh, great. Okay. Yeah, and okay. for dessert, of course, it's caramel blue poppy seed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How long you've been running this? Uh, I work here ten years. Ten years. In this restaurant, yeah. yeah. I come here 2013. Yeah. And I've stayed. Last seven years, I'm a chef. Here. You have such a good name. It's a restaurant to broth. Not too much create, but it's really nice because it's name is like a city. Yeah, 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 that's why today are I was like, something there, traditional. there are some other restaurants on the Michelin recommend, but I think this is very special because it has the name. So this is my start. Okay. <laughs> some Parmesan cheese and things like that. Mm. The cheese is so smooth and balanced, and it's like a summer dish because it's it's cold, but then with a lot of flavor in the same bite, you have something sweet. And I didn't catch all of the ingredients, but it's just very nice. Our uh, smoked deal and the smoked mussels mm -hmm. on top of the rye bread, um, which we soaked in a little. As well, we have some fresh uh, cucumbers, reddish strawberries, two different emulsions, a strawberry one and a citrus one, a lemon one, to balance it up with a little bit of um, acidity and some sturgeon caviar with a pistachio powder. So I already have my first course here. You can see that. Kind of very nice. They have different layers of flavor and texture. You have the bread at the bottom, bottom and then you have some kind of fish on top. You have the strawberry as well. Let me try the caviar. When you combine the caviar together, it's even better. You have to elevate the flavor of the whole thing. So what we have on the table is yeah. uh, two versions of our homemade butter. The brown one is a clarified, purified butter, as well as caramelized. So you might feel lots of hazelnuts, walnuts, even though it's a pure butter. And we have the green version, which we infuse with the basilic, the basilic. So it is more of a, a refreshing version. Uh, as well. I thought it's chocolate. It looks like oh, chocolate. No, no. <laughs> chocolate will come. In. So they gave me the bread. But look at this. This butter, so cute. Some kind of like a scone. The green butter is very fresh. It's different from the other butters. It's quite interesting. Stuff is a bit different. Here is corn and skuma, carpaccio and mushroom, white wine, right, red wine and white wine reduction. Yeah. And on the top we got here it pickled carrots. Oh. It's already the second course because it's a huge bowl. It's very cute. It's a crunchy ravioli. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a very homey dish. Because ravioli, I think it always reminds you of the grandma's, uh, like Italian grandma, who will cook for you. And it's uh, something nice to open the dinner, I would say. The second course will transition from the cold dish to the warm dish. For the next course, we have our uh, octopus, yeah. which we prepared on three different temperatures to get the right texture. We serve it on top of the broccoli cream, infused with the black truffle, some charred corn, beetroots, and as well a freshly grated uh, Istrian black truffle. We use a lot of octopus in this country, I realize. 
There's truffle as well. You can smell the taste. Truffle. It's a very satisfying taste because I think the octopus is at the right tender. So when you bite it, it's not too chewy and it's not too soft. And the, the sauce itself has different flavors and more importantly is the truffle. It's not so bad. Filled with the foie gras mousse and honey, and then rolled in a rose of hazelnuts. And next to it, we have a snail shell filled with what we call a liquid vanilla. We use our uh, vanilla ice cream, which we infuse with coffee. So, the best way to enjoy eat the bowl first. This first. Exactly. When you're almost done, take the snail shell and wash it down. Thank you. I think this is in between of the dishes. So, some kind of dessert looks like. It's very beautiful. It looks like they have just catch something from the sea. Say so that I should eat this bowl first. <laughs> but it's very good. Wow! This one has coffee inside. For your main course, we have our um, lamb filet. It is a rack of lamb, cut bone, debone, first we sous vide, grill it, roll it in pistachio with the sides of a uh, sweet carrot cream. And we have potato terrine, which is a yellow, purple, and sweet potatoes layer on top of the thyme sauce. So terrine. So there is a purple potato, a regular yellow potato, and the sweet potato. They are layered uh, with a little bit of butter, then baked, and in the end, they are deep fried. It seems like they put a lot of effort into this dish. Perfectly done, lamb. Mm. This one is really, really good. It's really because they have something on top of the lamb, and then when you bite into it, the crunchy taste on the top. And then the lamb itself, it's, it's it provides a texture, but it's also easy to chew. Let me try this. Mm. They've done so much, you can still taste the freshness of the potato. Um, it's very good. Oh. This is cool. So, this is our one seven. Oh. Yeah, I saw this photo online. And over here, we have our champagne room oh. or a whiskey room. So in the future, we are planning to do a whole story here, having a good chef's table here, yeah. and doing the whole story with the wines, with the food, yeah, 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 that would be cool. With the whiskey, so yeah, thank you so much. I know you like take photos. If they show me the space that they are going to open maybe next year, something like a wine cellar or place for a cigar. So next year, maybe I can. Try to come here, but if you in this. So, for your sweet pot, our um, blue poppy seeds yeah. inside of a house made biscuit. And we have a layer of caramel underneath made with bronchi. Bronchi is a um, traditional Croatian candy, mm. very refreshing. With lots of uh, mint, peppermint, eucalyptus, with this a little part. bit of lemon jelly on top, and as well the star anise just for the bouquet. Very cute, the dessert. I think this one is just for decoration. They have another one. It's a mini So this different kind of layers. The yeah, dessert is really good. The poppy seeds, the layer on the bottom, and then especially for the this taste, it's great. Different layer for all the sweetness. And then it has some, the poppy seed has its own taste as well. I think this restaurant is really good. Maybe because it's not doesn't have those like amazing views, so it's actually easier to book. So if you come here, come to visit the restaurant, the book, people are very friendly as well. You don't have to order the tasting menu. You can also order a la carte. Very happy about that. And I came here to bring you.